Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about distinguish between pairs of organic compounds. There are certain tests in organic chemistry which are given by the specific compounds. First of all, we will discuss these tests. Lucas test, iodoform test, sodium, hydrogen, carbonate test, ferric chloride test, tolens test, phalanx test, 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine test, isocyanide taste or carbilamin taste, azo dye taste and Hinsberg's taste. Let us see one by one. First of all, Lucas taste. This is used to distinguish primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Lucas reagent. Equimolar mixture of concentrated HCl and anhydrous ZnCl2 is called Lucas reagent. Alcohol is treated with Lucas reagent, then turbidity due to the formation of insoluble alkyl chloride is observed. If the turbidity appears immediately, the alcohol is tertiary. If the turbidity appears in about 5 minutes, the alcohol is secondary. A primary alcohol does not react with Lucas reagent at room temperature and hence no turbidity is formed. Next one is iodoform test. Iodoform taste is a taste for the CH3CO group and is characteristic for alcohols for this CH3CHOH and methyl ketones that is CH3CO. Actually in this taste this group CH3CHOH group produces CH3CO group on oxidation and in this the reagents used are sodium hydroxide and iodine. Actually Sodium hydroxide and iodine react and they form sodium hypoiodide NaOI. Now product form is iodoform CHI3 which is a pale yellow in color and reaction can be represented like this RCOCH3 when react with the I2 and NaOH we will get CHI3 actually this part convert into iodoform In the same way if you are having this like this part Okay, so we will convert this again. In this case, this CH3 will convert into CHI3. Ethanol, propane 2 ol ethanol, propanone, butanone, pentane 2 on acetophenone, that is PH, that is C6H5COCH3, give this taste. Next one is sodium hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate taste. All carboxylic acids give bicarbonate taste. Observation, carbon dioxide gas is evolved with brisk effervescence. Reaction can be written like this. RCOOH plus NaHCO3, it will give RCOONA plus CO2 plus H2O. Next one is ferric chloride taste. Phenol, that is C6H5OH, gives FeCl3 taste. In this, Violet color appears when phenol is treated with neutral FeCl3 solution. Tolens test. This is given by aldehydes and formic acid. Tolens reagent, ammoniacal silver nitrate solution. The aldehydes are oxidized to corresponding carboxylate anion. The reaction occurs in alkaline medium. A bright silver mirror is produced due to the formation of silver metal. That's why this is also known as silver mirror taste. Ketones do not give this taste. And reaction can be represented like this. Like this is RCHO. This is 2 AgNH3 twice positive charge. This is for alkaline medium. And this RCHO will convert into RCOO minus. And this ammoniacal silver nitrate will convert into silver. Okay. Felling taste. Felling reagent comprises of two solutions. Felling solution A, aqueous copper sulfate, and felling solution B, alkaline sodium potassium tartrate, that is also known as Rosley salt. These two solutions are mixed in equal amounts before taste. On heating an aldehyde with felling reagent, a reddish brown precipitate of Cu2O, that is cuprous oxide or copper first oxide, is obtained. Aromatic aldehydes do not respond to this taste. Again, reaction can be represented like this. Next is 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine taste. This is also known as a DNP taste. Aldehydes and ketones give this taste. 
टू फोर डी एन पी डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एल डी हाइट इन कीटोन आर येलो ऑरेंज और रेड सोलिड एसिड एल डी हाइट वेन रिएक्ट विद टू फोर डाइनाइट्रोफिनाइल हाइड्रोजीन विल गेट दिस कंपाउंड एसिड एल डी हाइट टू फोर डाइनाइट्रोफिनाइल हाइड्रोजोन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज आइसोसाइनाइटेस और कार्बिल अमीन टेस्ट This is used as a test for primary amines, whether it may be aromatic or aliphatic. Primary amines on heating with chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide forms isocyanides or carbyl amines, which are foul-smelling substances. Secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction. And with primary amine, reaction can be represented like this: R N H two plus C H C L three chloroform plus three K O H when heated will get this isocyanide. next one is azo dye test it involves the reaction of any aromatic primary amine with nitrous acid followed by treatment with an alkaline solution of 2 naphthol this is also known as beta naphthol when a brilliant yellow orange or red color dye is obtained this is used to distinguish between aliphatic primary amine and aromatic primary amine actually aromatic primary amine give azo dye test while aliphatic primary amines do not give hins bergs test this is used for distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary amines hins bergs reagent is benzene sulfonyl chloride c6h5so2cl in this test amine is shaken with hins bergs reagent in presence of excess of aqueous koh solution a primary amine gives a clear solution which on acidification gives an insoluble an alkyl benzene sulfonamide a secondary amine gives an insoluble an and dialkyl benzene sulfonamide which remains unaffected on addition of acid a tertiary amine does not react at all therefore it remains insoluble in the alkaline solution but dissolves on acidification to give a clear solution now we will discuss some important questions name the chemical test used to distinguish between phenol and ethanoic acid answer is fecl3 test it is given by phenol but not by ethanoic acid we can also use sodium bicarbonate test this is given by ethanoic acid but not by phenol next is which chemical is used to distinguish between phenol and benzyl alcohol options are nahco3 fecl3 iodoform test none of these answer is fecl3 actually phenol gives violet color with fecl3 while benzyl alcohol does not next phenol and benzoic acid benzoic acid reacts with nahco3 giving co2 gas with effervescence whereas phenol does not okay you can also use fecl3 test phenol gives violet color with fecl3 while benzoic acid does not next pair is benzaldehyde and acetophenone 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 is ch3coc6h5 okay actually in this acetophenone we are having this group methyl ketone ch3co so this acetophenone will give iodoform test while benzophenone does not okay next distinguish between acetone and acetaldehyde acetaldehyde gives tolens test and felling test while acetone does not and these are the reactions this is for tolens test and this is for felling test next pair is benzaldehyde and benzophenone benzaldehyde gives tolens test while benzophenone does not next give chemical test to distinguish between acetaldehyde and benzaldehyde acetaldehyde gives iodoform test while benzaldehyde does not or we can also use acetaldehyde gives felling test while benzaldehyde does not next pair is propanone and propanal propanone gives iodoform test while propanal does not or we can also use propanal gives tolens test and felling test while propanone does not next is butanone and butanal 
ब्यूटेनोन एक्चुअली ब्यूटेनोन इज सी एस थ्री सीओ सी एच टू सी एस थ्री अगेन दिस इज द मिथाइल कीटोन सो इट विल गिव आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट वाइल ब्यूटेनल डज नोट और वी कैन ऑल्सो यू द सम स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर एल डी आइड इन कीटोन इन दिस केस ब्यूटेनल गिव टॉलेंस टेस्ट एंड फेलिंग टेस्ट वाइल ब्यूटेनोन डज नोट नेक्स्ट पेर इज इथेनल एंड इथेनोइक एसिड इथेनल विच इज एल डी हाइट गिव टॉलेंस टेस्ट एंड फेलिंग टेस्ट वाइल इथेनोइक एसिड डज नोट and ethanoic acid is carboxylic acid so we can also use ethanoic acid use f1c of carbon dioxide with sodium bicarbonate while ethanol does not we can also use ethanol gives iodoform taste while ethanoic acid does not next give a chemical taste to distinguish between c6h5nh2 and ch3nh2 actually both are primary amines but this is aromatic amine and this is aliphatic amine so we can use azo di taste The C6H5NH2 will give azo di taste while CH3NH2 does not. Okay, and this azo di taste is also used to distinguish between aniline and ethylamine. Again, this aniline will give azo di taste while this ethylamine will not give. What happen in azo di taste? Aniline react with the NaNO2 and HCl. It will convert into benzene diazonium chloride. And when this will react with the alkaline 2 naphthol or alkaline beta naphthol, we will get the orange red dye. Next one is ethanamine and N-ethyl ethanamine, or methanamine and N-methyl methanamine. Now just see, this is primary amine and this is secondary amine. In the same way, this methanamine is a primary amine and this N-methyl methanamine is a secondary amine. Okay, so we can use carbyl amine taste. This ethanamine and methanamine both will give carbyl amine taste, while these secondary amines will not give. Next one is CS3 and CS3 and CS3 thrice N. Now this is again this is N methyl methanamine. This is a secondary amine and this is tertiary amine. So by Hinz Bach's taste we can distinguish between these two. In this taste amine is shaken with Hinz Bach's reagent in presence of excess of aqueous KOA solution. Then CS3 and CS3 which is secondary amine gives an insoluble N N di alkyl benzene sulfonamide, where this alkyl is the methyl. N N di methyl benzene sulfonamide, which remains unaffected on addition of acid. And with this C S three thrice N, which is a tertiary amine, does not react at all with Hinz Bach's taste. Therefore, it remains insoluble in the alkaline solution, but dissolves on acidification to give a clear solution. Give one chemical taste to distinguish between the following pairs of compounds: methylamine and dimethylamine. Okay, this methylamine is a primary amine and dimethylamine is secondary amine. So we can use carbyl amine reaction. Methylamine will give this carbyl amine reaction, while dimethylamine does not. Ethylamine and aniline. This ethylamine is aliphatic amine. Aniline is Aromatic amine, so we can use azo di taste. Anine, aniline will give azo di taste, while ethylamine will not give. Next is aniline and benzylamine. Again, this aniline is aromatic amine and benzylamine is aliphatic amine. So aniline will give azo di taste, while benzylamine will not give. Now next, give a chemical taste to distinguish between methanoic acid and ethanoic acid. Both are carboxylic acid. Okay. Methanoic acid gives tolens taste, but ethanoic acid does not. Next pair is ethanol and propane 2-ol. Ethanol is primary alcohol and propane 2-ol is secondary alcohol. So by Lucas taste, we can distinguish between these two. Ethanol when react with the Lucas reagent, no turbidity will appear at room temperature. While at room temperature, while propane 2-ol when react with the Lucas reagent, turbidity will appear in five minutes. Next, give a chemical taste to distinguish between chlorobenzene C6H5Cl and benzyl chloride C6H5CH2Cl. Actually, this chlorobenzene is a aromatic chloride. Okay, and this is aliphatic. Benzyl chloride is allowed to react with aqueous NaOH. This is a nucleophilic substitution reaction will taking place. Okay. The resulting solution gives white precipitate with silver nitrate solution. While chlorobenzene 
it will not give nucleophilic substitution reaction with aqueous anyway so does not give white precipitate with similar reagents and reaction can be represented like this this is benzyl chloride when react with NaOH in aqueous medium the Cl is replaced by OH and will get this along with the NaCl and this NaCl is ionic compound so when this mixture is treated with the silver nitrate solution we will get the white precipitate of AgCl Chlorobenzene does not react with NaOH at ordinary temperature. So, where chlorobenzene will not get NaCl. Okay. So, we will not get the precipitate of AgCl when treated with the AgNO3. Okay. Thank you.